hard if you close your eyes What is up guys, it's Freak here, and today I got another Sony Vegas tutorial for you guys. So, I got this request from this user. So he basically asked about the masking effect, if you don't know that, it's basically where you cut out a specific part of the video, and then that video sort of gets, like, green screen. It's a bit hard to explain, but that is just that part of the video that's always cut it out throughout the whole clip. So, it's actually fairly easy, but takes some time to actually do really well. So, I got my two clips right here. Um, my tip for you if you want a mask is try to find a clip where the character fills in the whole screen. As you can see, Hinata comes in here and fills the whole thing and then go there. So, it's like a perfect transition. Like, this is my main clip. From here, and then... Instead of him actually coming there, I think that if we just clip it right there, that uh, should be enough. So tip number one to try to find a clip where the, the character that you want to mask out actually fills in the whole thing or just a really big part of the video then actually moves a bit. As you can see he comes from down below, goes up, goes back there. And then you practically already have a transition right there. Alright, so let's just start. What you want to do is try to create another layer. And I think... 1, 2, 3, 4... From until the first time... There should be enough. That's... Eight. Nine. That should be enough. So remember those nine frames. That you want to go up, pick them right there. Perfect. So you got your first nine first frames right here, and it's just him going up, and then until the first time we see the background. Oh, actually, in this. Let us take it one frame up and then it should be perfect. Alright, so when you've got your clips in place, you want to click on the event, event pan slash crop tool. If it wanted to open, it would be really great, yeah. And then from there on, you just click on mask. And then, you see here there isn't anything, then try to go one frame up. Still nothing. Then go one frame more, and here you go. So the thing, try you need to press on D, and you uh, open the anchor creation tool, and then you just need to mark all of the points or just all the spot. So let us see. This right. This right here, and then let us. No, 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 why are you so retarded? Why are you so retarded? I didn't ask you to be so. So, just, just try. Remember, when you do this, we really need to do it really good. I'm just making a tutorial, so it doesn't really need to be that great. And this is a really bad masking. And then we want to go up. And some, sometimes you just need to like pinpoint every single point. Like, luckily we only have his hair here, here, and it's just curly, nothing else. So you can just make some curvy maskings. Not really that hard. So if we like do it like that, show them that right there. Take this here, and make the curve. Oh, fuck you. Well, so I'm just gonna speed this process up until the next frame. 
Oh yeah. <laughs> So there we go guys, I've perfect, not, not perfectly, just really, just really fast and a really bad masking uh, around his hair and then what you want to do is to connect the two last dots, be sure that it's out of the frame. Um, okay, that's my coincidence, you need to do it until he actually comes up. Now, this is... We actually need to... So I'm sorry I made it, I actually made a quite a little mistake, I had it like 2 frames too much in the start, what you want, what you want the clips to start is literally when you want your masking to start. So there we go, the first frame is up, but of course the, the hair moves so you need to adjust your keyframes. So go here, go one frame up and you will see it moves. So right click, select all, and then just delete all. Okay, you could also just have done that. So what you then want to do is practically just do the same, but this time it doesn't. It isn't really that bad. So really fast, really shitty. Um. There, 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 there. See, that's the great thing about this specific. specific um, clip that there isn't really that much to mask because he's actually in it but of course you can see how many mistakes I've made so please don't do that so if we go through you can see that it actually follows it and you we just want to continue that stream Alright, so as of here, we want to create a new, or just delete all, and it will create a keyframe. So he goes up here, here, and then at this frame we can see the background coming up again. So we just want to make another keyframe. Just This is easy to do, so we can quickly just do it like this. And then this should be fine. I'm not really sure. Yeah, that's the thing. So when you're specifically cutting out the background, right? You what you want to do is. Click on the selected mask and then click on negative, negative, and you will have this out. Just do the same right here, negative, and we want to copy, want to copy this and put it here. And we want to put it here, so we still have no mask until this keyframe. 
And then we want to delete all again. You could always just also mess this, but this makes a nice smooth transition. Alright, let's see if we slow it a bit down. Alright, that's... You see it there? We have this white background, then it goes here until Hinata comes up and then it makes a transition. From him going up and then until there. You could always just extend the mask, but you pre pretty much got the basic knowledge of masking now. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hopefully this helped you somewhat. This thing, masking is really easy. You just need to have a lot of patience while doing it. <laughs> so I hope you guys have an awesome day and see you guys next time. Peace.